just showing you the volunteer pumpkin plant that is growing on its own. Chickens have access to eat whatever they want off of it. I'll come this way and you can see the size of them. Chickens can eat the blooms, the leaves, whatever they want. The bigger ones they won't mess with because they're pokey. They'll eat the fresh ones off of it. All the other ones are already gone, the other four volunteer pumpkin plants. Look at that, the size of the chicken next to it. It was vining all the way up there, but once we put the netting on top, I didn't want it to go up that far. And uh, I can see that we have some of the squash coming through up there. And I need, I can't even reach to get that back down out of there. I'll probably knock the blooms off, but that's okay. And get it to grow out that direction, that way over there. And see them. Chickens are out. See if I can work my way around. What do y'all think? Chicken or rooster? I mean hen <laughs> or rooster? I got seven hens, but looks like that one might be a rooster. I'm not sure. That's onyx. So I'm just kind of working my way around without bothering them. It's okay. Yeah, I don't have to go in. I'm just going around. Yeah, I don't have to go in. I'm just going around. I didn't open up the gate this morning. There, y'all can go back out if you want. Um, let me stand at the Come on, chick chick. Come on, y'all can go back out. Come on, come on, chick chick. I didn't open up this gate um, earlier. Come on, go back out because it looked like a storm was coming. They're going back out. Go on. Go on, Smokey and Jasper. Sounds like somebody's working down there. Come on, Smokey. And, uh, come on. Come on, Smokey. Come on, Chick Chick. And now that I'm out, uh, eight, nine, 10, three hours later, Come on, come on, Chick Chick. Now, Smokey went out and Jasper came back in. But all the rest of them are out. Um, now I hear sprinkles hitting. Uh, let you see what the sky looks like. Looks like all the rain's gonna go under us. Come on, Jasper, go on out. Now yeah, they're all out. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all out. I'll just leave that open. Now I know if it comes a storm, all the chickens will come in except, except for um, Amethyst. Amethyst is the little one. He tends to be in La La Land and uh, He'll run back and forth and can't figure out that the door is down around the end. So if it does start to pour a lot, I'm going to have to come get them in. Lee is fixing to move the flatbed trailer with the large crate he built and pull it like in the middle of the fence in the building. So it's out of the way. So I'm still over here in the chicken area. <laughs> Kodiak's watching. Majestic just 
going around the other side of this shelter. You can't see him, but he's watched. Oh, there he is. Got his bone. suggested he put it over there between the other the fence and the building over there so that any time we need to take the dog for a ride to get him used to it he wouldn't have to go through this what he's going through at the moment and he's like yeah he said he was thinking the same. he's chewing on a bone And he's listening to him chewing on a bone. And he's got to back it up and move it over. The vehicle's back here that he's got room to get it around that curve. Because that's a tight curve. I start raising my voice and all the chickens come running in. Two of them is out, and one, two, off, uh, five of the other ones are in. Y'all can go back out if you want. I just holler and talking to Lee. I told Lee I would not get a video of him when he went in there to put a couple more boards up. But I looked in the crate and couldn't help myself. So, honey, should I say we got the first big dog in? Yep. <laughs> then after it would be the next two smaller dogs? Yep, I'm the big dog. He's a big dog. He runs it around here. Damn. He says... Damn. He's making me happy. I felt happier with uh, putting a board up there where he's putting that last board up. Just upon inspection when I went over it. He's like, okay.
Right there. Come on. <laughs> he done good. You can see him with his prize. Show your prize. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it. That's your prize. Get it. Get it. That's your prize. That's your prize. Okay, come on. So, now we got another one How they react when you shut the door. 
I <laughs> use my foot to push it back. This has to be plenty big to loop it on like a cow. He has about a foot clearance up above his head, right? step down. I was afraid if I already stepped down and he pulled, he'd knock me right on the foot. They've never been in a crate before, so we're practicing so Monday I can call, get an appointment to get their, uh, well not him, he lets me do his claws, his, and his do claws, but Kodiak's still walking around over there by the fence with it in his mouth looking to see where he can bury it. But Kodiak's, where it's turning in, he's let me do it twice, he's caught on now to what I do. He don't let me touch his feet or anything, and so all of his needs just to be done. He's got six two claws, so so he's gonna have to be taken. So that's what I'm gonna practice here on this weekend. He's got his prize. Show the camera. You got your prize. It's <laughs> silly. Here you go. Here. Here, come on. No, you're not going to go running around. <laughs> but just Kodiak's over there. He still has his in his mouth. He hasn't dropped it yet. Here.
Yeah, I'll take their milk bone treats to give to the Kodiak and to the Majestic. So he's still got his snack. <laughs> he done very good. I'm proud of him. Going down lane and he's putting in a mud puddle. Okay. 